by default WordPress has five user roles, admin, editor, author, contributor, and subscriber. If you have a multi-site, then you have also super admin role. And if you have WooCommerce installed, then you have customer and shop manager roles. So today I'm going to show you how to create custom roles to your WooCommerce or WordPress site. And I'm going to show you two easy ways how to do that. So if you're interested, then jump in. First, you may ask, why would I need the custom roles for my site? Well, a couple of reasons. For example, I have two custom roles here, gold member and silver member. And since I have a WooCommerce installed on my site and I have a pricing rules plugin installed, I can give gold members 20% and silver member 10% discount. Or other option, maybe you have some kind of membership site and you would like to hide some pages or posts from the logged out users and you would like to add an access to the gold members to so some kind of content and give the silver member access to other users. Well, once again, create the custom user roles, set it up and you're good to go. And now let's take a look how to set it up. First, as you see, I have three users here, one admin and two subscribers. Now I'm going to create a gold member user role and silver member user role. In order to do so, I have two options. One is to use a plugin and the other one is to solve this with a small piece of code. If possible, I always tend to use small code snippets because why would I need to install another plugin? So if you're using a code snippets plugin like I do, then you can add the code snippets to your site in an easy way. If you don't use it and you feel comfortable modifying your team, then open up your child team. But pay attention though that you need to have a child team, otherwise you will lose all the modification you do here. So open up your child team and functions PHP file and add the code snippets I'm going to show you inside this one and update it. But I would not suggest you to do that, therefore go to the plugins, search for code snippets, install and activate it, and then you'll see a snippets menu on the left. Open it up, click add new. And now paste this code snippet inside the code box. Give it the title, silver role, for example, and choose only run once. This means that this snippet will be executed only once. Couple of explanations. Here goes the user role name we would like to clone. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to clone the customer user role. The new user role will get all the capabilities from the customer roles. Here goes role slug and here goes the role name, for example, silver package. This line contains the same as this one here. So pay attention to copy this one here. Nothing else to configure here. So click on save changes and activate. And you just created your silver package role. Let's take a look how does it look like. I'm going to go to all users, open up the silver user. And as you see, there is a role subscriber. I'm I can change it to silver package, update it, and now this user has a custom user role. Now I'm going to go back to the snippets, open up this silver role, change it, rename it this one to gold, paste it here, rename the role name to gold package, save changes and execute once. Now I'm going to go back to the users, open up the gold member. And as you see, I have another user role here. I'm going to update it and it's good to go. Now, if we would like to clone some other user role besides customer, then just replace this one here. For example, let's change this one to administrator. I'm going to add another admin here. And this one is admin package. So if I'm going to press save changes and execute once, then it will create me another user role admin package. And this user role has all the capabilities from the administrator user role. Let's do that. I'm going to refresh this one here to show you as you see admin package is here. Now I can go to the snippets and I can delete this one here because I don't need it anymore. So this was the first way to create user roles. If you don't feel yourself comfortable messing with a code like I showed you, Right now, then go to the plugins, click on add new and search for members plugin. This one here. 
more than 200,000 active installation, only 5 star reviews, so install and activate it. And after that you'll see a members menu down the left. Click on settings and some things for you to configure. So error message for those who are declined access to the content you're going to show for the user roles. So you can change the content here. This one here allows you to enable role manager. The next one allows you to be users to be assigned in more than one role and some other options here. Nothing fancy, simple to use plugin. So let's go to the roles. This is a gold package, admin package and silver package I created earlier. I'm going to delete those because I would like to show you how to use the plugin. I have a customer user role here. I'm just going to click on clone. Give it the title, for example, gold package. And as you see, I can leave everything as it is. But if needed, I can add extra capabilities for this user role. For example, if I would like this user to be allowed to edit products, then just I'm going to select the, this one here. But at the moment, I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to add the role. Next one, go back to the roles. Customer clone. Silver package as a name. Add role. Back to users. These are the subscribers here. And if you scroll down, as you see, you can select multiple user roles. Gold package. Subscriber. Customer. Basically, one user belongs to more than one user groups. Update users and you're good to go. Next, I'm going to quickly show you what else this member plugin does for you. I'm going to go to the pages, all pages, and I have a sample page here. This one. I'm going to open it up. And as you see, there is a content permission meta box. So limit access to the content to users of the selected user roles, administrator and cold package. In order to use paid memberships, you need to upgrade to MemberPress, but there is an er error message. You have to be logged in. I'm going to add it as a heading. I'm going to update it and open up this site in a private window. Sample page. You have to be logged in. Now I'm going to log in as a cold package user. And the content is visible. So as you see, it's really easy to hide the pages from the not logged in users if needed. Now one last thing, one practical example for you. I'm going to open up the pricing rules plugin I have here. If you're interested, then take a look at the description of this video. I have made a tutorial how to use advanced dynamic pricing plugin. So I'm going to add the rule. Give it the title called member minus 20 role discounts. I'm going to select the gold package percentage discount 20. Next rule, silver member minus 10. Once again, roll discounts, silver package, percentage discount, 10%, save changes. This plugin allows you to create all sorts of different pricing combinations, but I created two simple ones just for you to see what is happening here. Now I opened my shop in a private window and as you see, I'm logged out. These are the regular prices here. But if I log in as member, and as you see, all the prices have 10% discount. As you saw, it's really easy to create custom WordPress user roles, either with the help of small code snippet or, or with the help of the members plugin. Now, if you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and before you go, take a look at the next video you see on the screen right now, because it's also full of useful content. Meanwhile, take care.